Jr. What's up, YouTube? I'm Extraordinary Jr. And welcome to episode 20 of uh, Lemonade Collecting. Otherwise known as Pokemon and Mega Ruby Egglock in the last episode. Hey, I got bonus shrink. Yeah! Alright, episode over. Alright, uh, expect the unexpected. Goodbye, you know, whatever. Alright, so, whatever. Uh, episode 20, Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we defeated... Uh, Team Magma again in the Weather Institute and, uh, hatch a couple Pokemon eggs. And, uh, 2014-ish and Klefki are, uh, shown in the PC. I grabbed our, uh, team back. Uh, Sokka, that little feet, and Blanco. I grabbed them all back, so, uh, team's back to normal. And, uh, the goal today is finally get to Fortree City and at least begin that town. I, I don't think we're gonna go into the gym. I actually don't think we can go into the gym, so, uh, yeah. I think there's an item down here. I think there, ooh, secret base. All right, I'll check it out real quick. We're online, I think, so. This is Team Master's base. All right, it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff. Gotta say. Can I take the flag? Oh, fake PC. All right, well, this is a lot, this is a lot of things. I like it, though. Uh, I don't really feel like battling, though. I, I like the idea of Secret Base, I really do, um, and I, I will go back and eventually touch up my Secret Base, um, especially because I know in this game you can fly to individual routes, which is really fucking cool as I get the Leaf Stone, so nice. Um, I know you can go fly to individual routes and everything like that, and I want to do the Secret Base stuff, so, probably end game bonus game content. Uh, which I plan, I plan on doing everything in this game, uh, shiny Pokemon hunting, uh, you know, Battle Frontier, or whatever it's, Battle Tower, Battle House, um, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do plan on doing it, <laughs> and, um, and I don't think it matters at this point, I'll, I'll just say it, uh, once, you know, we beat the, uh, once we beat the Elite Four, the Egglock's over, essentially, but I'm gonna probably use different Pokemon and different teams. I'm, I'm gonna change it up, of course. But if I go out and start legendary Pokemon hunting and I get three Pokemon kill, four Pokemon kill in the fight, it doesn't mean, oh no, they're dead forever, whatever, who the fuck cares? Because the Egglock essentially only is uh, beginning of the game to, you know, um, the Elite Four. And then after that, bonus game content uh, doesn't matter. Just throwing it out there now, I'm just saying it uh, because I want to. Uh, I, I, I want to do everything in this game. I, I've been looking forward to this game for a year, and I plan on showing off everything it has to offer, so. Uh, even though people have already done it, um, I don't really care. I could have done 40 episodes in four days if I just sat down and played it 24-7, but that's no fun, in my opinion. I don't like the idea of having 40 episodes out, uh, <laughs> that quickly. Because people finish the game in, like, the first day, and that's not really enjoying it, you know? I, I like going out and playing every, you know, two or three days, playing like for an hour, and just be like, yeah, yeah, just enjoy. It's a, it's an experience. It's not a fucking race, you know. Um, but whatever. Uh, people can play Pokemon however they want to. Uh, you got a Whelmer coming up. We're actually gonna send in Little Feet. Uh, Little Feet is, mm, but he's not gonna die. Whelmer is is little thirty one. It's not that strong. Let's go with Seed Bomb. All right, it's got Water Pulse, so let's just see what it does. Yeah, 16 damage. Oh, uh, oh all right, he's confused. This is where he dies now, obviously. Uh-oh, all right, well, now he's taking a little bit of beat. Let's try one more time. Little, little feet, I swear to God, if you kill yourself, I'm going to be very sad. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. Fuck, come on, bro. Well, so we're choosing him. Alright, uh... Um... Just send in Clank Clong. I was gonna use Blanco, but I was like, I'm not gonna risk it. I don't I don't really feel like... Watching my friends die. And he doesn't really look that different from, uh, Clank. I mean, a little bit, but not too much. Uh, just go with Charge Beam. So, Charge Beam on the Whelmer. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hey, special attack was nice. <laughs> I forgot it does that. Uh, charge Beam is a good move. I forgot it does special attack. And I believe a special attack as well, so it like, made it a little bit stronger. So, uh, Charge Beam again. 
It does take down the whale more. All right, very nice. At least little feet does get experience for that. He gets five hundred. You know. Oh well, that's not perfect. And um, that's it. <laughs> I think we get fly now. Hmm. Well, you did battle me like I asked, so I'll give you a reward. Yeah, there's fly. All right. Um, we're not gonna go and bother flying around right now, but there is some stuff we can do. Well, actually, we, we can't fly. We have, to, we have to get the badge from Four Tree. <laughs> Whoops. Well, now, now I can't fly, but I wanted to, so I guess that counts. I think we're right here. We have to be right here at Fortune. I don't think there's any more. Ah, oh, there's, there's little kids. Um, I will ignore them. I, I honestly hate finding little kid ninja Pokemon trainers. Wow, that, that sentence makes sense. Um, because they're just like, oh, I'm going to fight you. And then they send out like little, like two Pokemon. It's like, all right, well, no. <laughs> and I shove them in the face and just push them out of the way. Who cares about them? Anyway, grab these Palmeg berries. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know what a Palmeg is. It's definitely, it's definitely a real thing, but there's something fishy about this spot. Maybe with the right Pokemon move. Secret base. Let's let's try that real quick. Cause I like the idea of having it right next to a town. Secret power. Um. Give it to our boy Pikachu. Okay, Pikachu. Yes. Get rid of Quick Attack. Never let Quick Attack anyway. And let's see if this is a secret base spot, actually. Secret base? Yeah, it is! It's a secret base! Alright! Go, Pikachu! Alright, let's go inside. Ah, it's a cute little base! Yeah, well, I want this one. I want I want this house. Cool. All right, so this is my secret little base now. Um, do I want to decorate right now? Uh, I, I, I'll I decorate this later. I really want to do it, but I want to focus on it as well. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure to come back. We'll be sure, we'll be sure to come back now and um, decorate the secret base. Because if I, if, I, if I focus on the base, I'm not going to focus on commentary. Not because I can't do it, but because like I want to make it fancy as fuck. Anyway, welcome to Fortree City. Uh, welcome to the Fortree City Pokemon Center. And uh, welcome to the Pokemon Fortree City Nurse Joy. Yeah, I, I, I know nothing about Fortree City. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's got flying Pokemon... And trees. And that's all I got. Yeah, this town's kind of okay. Anyway, let's go let's go uh buy some shit real quick. We actually need a couple uh great balls. We only have six. Let's buy fourteen. And uh, we'll buy we'll buy uh ten ultra balls. Just in case, I, especially especially because I have no idea when uh, legendary Pokemon start showing up in this game. Probably soon. Once you get a, uh, once you get a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Surf. You really that's when you that's like the beginning of when you can encounter legendary Pokemon. And um, yeah, well I I don't expect to find the Regigigases or Regigigases. That's not right. The Regis. Um, anytime soon, especially because their, their thing is fucking cryptic. Uh, you never know when you can find, like, you know, other legendary Pokemon. Apparently you can catch all of them in this game. So, that's, uh, <laughs> that's something I definitely gotta Google and research and, and, and Google. Oh, is this where the Yes City is? Is this where the guy asked me where do I come from and I say yes? I wanna find him real quick. That is the mission for today. Oh, I got stairs for my base! Yay! I like that. I hope I can build a second floor now. I hope I can. I mean, that's... Where is the where do you come from? That might be Pacifilog. I think it's Pacifilog, actually. I think that's also the town name. It might not be. Oh, what the... Who the fuck are you? Yo, David! I knew we'd meet again! Hey, it's... It's you. What, you don't... You don't know who you are? Don't know where you are, Paul. <laughs> yeah. This is the secret base guild, of course. Oh. Huh? What do you mean you never asked? 
Oh, this is the secret base guy. Hey, I remember you. Secret base guild is here, is here to fully support every everyone so they can have a secret base life full of adventure. We give you hints on how to enjoy your base and items you can't get anywhere else. Best of all, coming here means that you can always meet me anytime you want. All right. I'm actually happy I kind of... Uh, you still haven't made yourself a team, have you? See, teams made up of, like, the pals that hang out in your base with you. You shouldn't call them friends, but doesn't team sound cooler? No, friends. I want friends. Uh, nothing wrong with playing alone chorus, but having some pals around sure can line things up in your base. Haven't tried it yet? I suggest you ought to give it a shot before you write it off. You've been clicking flags. Um, okay. Alright, so I gotta make some friends. <laughs> Step one. Friends. Step two. I got a proclamation. Cool. Pokemon you should want to set, set the battle format at that will fly in your own base. Lots of decorations. Alright, so my um my proclamation is gonna be double battles with only flying type Pokemon. With certain moves. Like ground types. That's it. Um Yeah, let's I'm gonna buy some shit real quick. <laughs> I I, I Secret base is going to be fun. I promise. It's going to look stupid as hell. It's going to look fun. Gym statue. Alright, I'll buy two. I'm going to be a gym. Glitter mat. Fuck yeah. Buy two. <laughs> uh, I love this game. The fight, I, I always wanted to like be good at like, you know, designing. Um, unfortunately... I am so horrendously bad when it comes to any kind of, like, cr not, not creativity, pretty creative, but just, like, actual, like, skill, like, for example, The Sims, uh, you know how people build, like, you know, intricate, you know, bullshit or whatever? I build a box. You know, Minecraft, you build, you know, Sistine Chapel, or, you know, an arena, but a box, you know, uh... Minecraft, again, but a box. <laughs> the game's all boxes, but, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard building. And, uh, guarantee my secret base is just, is, is, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. It's gonna be interesting. I, I promise. I, I just want to make it look good. Alright, so that's the Wingle. And, is that it? Okay, well, I think there's another Wingle somewhere in the world. And, like, you gotta see him. Oh, no, I, I want to... Alright, well, I guess we're not exploring. Alright, bye. Want to go explore? Anyway, welcome to Route 120. There's a Pokemon we can catch here somewhere. We're gonna get that one. We're gonna sneak up on it, ninja style. Up. Oh. Never mind. Uh, we'll just get to this one. Uh, Route 120. I think you need Absol here, actually. Oh, we won't know. We get a Linoon. Alright. That is going to be an egg. It is level 24, and uh, we will go with Night Slash, because it's nighttime. Even though it's 11.30 when I'm recording this, it is night in Pokemon, apparently. Uh, we'll go with Night Slash one more time. Here we go. Let's see. And... Oh, perfect. Right in the red. <clears throat> okay, um... I'm feeling great. Let's use a great ball. Great ball, Linoon. Here we go. Let's see. And one, two, three. Yeah, it's sick. All right. Another uh, Pokemon egg. We'll be sure to hatch that. Probably next time. Uh, probably next time. We will we'll be sure to do that. So, Linoon. New Pokemon in the Pokedex. Encountered eight times. Whatever. You are a Zigzagoon at heart, and you will always be a Zigzagoon to me. And yes. Let's go fight this trainer real quick. I, I try I try to fight most trainers. Um I don't know, it's kinda of, it's a little annoying. Fighting through the, hmm. Now let me let me phrase this correctly. It's not annoying fighting trainers. Absolutely not. That that's you know the point of Pokemon. Uh it's annoying fighting the same type of trainers. And by that I mean, alright, you're running through a Viridian Forest, 
and you fight bug catcher, 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 then the guy with the Pidgey, and a bug catcher. You get the point? It's kind of annoying, right? And, um, I mean, that that's that's no one's fault. That's how Pokemon's kind of designed. You, f you fight generally the same types of Pokemon on certain routes and areas in the game. That's fine. Um, but... You know, it's like, that's why I avoid the Ninja Kids. It's kind of like the same kind of style uh, of Pokemon. And it's, uh, it's a little annoying. It is. And also, most of them suck. <laughs> most of them are pretty bad. Especially on route, you know, you know, in general. Especially in the beginning of the game. So, I try to fight every Pokemon trainer. I don't really go out of my way to. But if, if it's eight bug-catching trainers, I'm going to ignore them all. But, oh well. Pew Pew up to level 23, when a double team, double team is a great move, I've learned to love it. Uh, give it a charm. Uh, double, t <laughs> double team, if you can set it up correctly, uh, is, it's just not, it's just so cheap. It's so good, and it's so angry, it, it's horrible if you're facing it, but it's so good if you have it. I think most people know that. That's not going not to say any groundbreaking news. And Oh, do I want to fight Gabby and Ty real quick? Ah, I just talked about how I don't like fighting the same trainers, but it's Gabby and Ty, so... They're, they're the exception. They are hysterical to fight. They're so bad. They got Magneton and the low rad. We will switch out Sokka. He is not ready to fight that. Well, he's ready to fight it, but it's, it's a stupid matchup. So, switch you, we'll bring in, uh, bring in Blanco, and then we'll, um, we'll flying press the Magneton. Th that should work, even though flying is not really strong against steel, it's fighting, so as well, so. Here we go, flying press, Magneton. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. And I obviously could have switched out Griffin, but Griffin is too strong anyway, so. Oh, well. My bad. We'll go with Bite and Aerial Ace. Here we go. Aerial Ace should kill the Wildward. There we go, nice. One Pokemon down. And then here we go on the Magneton. Bite and... Ooh, doesn't kill it. Using Spark again on Griffin. Does t Griffin is taking a little bit of damage. A little more um, than I'd like to take, obviously. But it doesn't matter. I don't think we have a fight coming up anyway. And if we do, I can just heal it off. So, Magneton is defeated. There we go. And Griffin will get up to level 44. Level 44! High, j Ooh, high jump kick is a... Ooh... High jump kick is good, but if it misses, the user's hurt instead. I, I, no, I, I can't do that. That's like a suicidal uh, move for me, so I can't risk it, you know? I just can't do it. Clank comes to level 39. Uh, Sakura comes to level 35. They're all, so he's one level away from evolving, uh, which is fucking great for the team. And, uh, yeah, I'll be interviewed again. I'm going to change my answer. God, that answer wasn't funny. <laughs> All right, I probably should have stuck with balls tastic. All right, that's the episode. Um, next time we will finish exploring Route One Hundred and Twenty, and we will hatch the Pokemon egg that I'm going to get when we come back to Fortree. I'm I'm here to heal, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Expect the unexpected, and goodbye.